What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another laser review for you guys. This one is going to be the Wicked Lasers Nano. Now some of you might remember I reviewed the green version of this laser. Well today I have the purple version, the 405 nanometer, 75 milliwatt version. And this one sells for about $70 on their website. And unfortunately it does not ship to the United States, just like many of their lasers, so... You can only get this in select countries. So this one is made of solid aluminum and it has two modes on that little button right there. It has a constant on mode and it has a mode where you can hold down the button to have it on. And it also has a little LED light that indicates when it's on and off. And then the safety label right here, I'm going to give you guys a little blown up version of it. Now this label has it rated at less than 500 milliwatts and it definitely is less than 500 milliwatts. The website lists it as about 75 milliwatts. So I will do an LPM reading later on in this video to give you guys an accurate number on that. And this laser has a couple of different features too. It has a removable lens cap on the top and you can interchange that out with a little set of nano lens, uh, lens pieces that they sell. I don't have that right here. And I don't have the original manual and most of the accessories that came with it. Because this laser doesn't ship to the US, I did have to get it from a third party, so it was kind of a situation where I got what I could get, and unfortunately it didn't come with all the original extras. But anyways, this laser takes two AAA batteries which go in at the very bottom, you just unscrew the bottom end cap, and then you put in two AAA batteries with the positive end facing the back of the laser and the negative end facing the tip of the laser. They also put stickers on the back of these nano lasers to indicate which color you have. I have a little bluish purple sticker here because I have the purple nano laser. And turning it on, you can see that little purple dot right there so the laser is working. And it's very, very purple. It's like the same color as a black light. But for whatever reason on camera, it shows up as blue a lot. So just know that in reality that that dot is very, very purple. It's not blue. And the last feature I wanted to show you guys is sticking out of the bottom of the little tail cap that you remove to insert the batteries. There's a little safety key and this is a nice added feature where you can remove that little safety key and once it's removed the laser cannot be used. But unfortunately it's like extremely tough to remove and you have to use some type of knife most of the time to pull it out. Um, I'm not even going to bother with it right now because I'll end up just scratching things up but if you did want to remove that, I've always had to use like little pliers or a knife to pull it out. And then once it's pulled out, the laser can't be used and it acts as a key. But just make sure you don't lose it because if you lose it, then the laser is rendered useless. So I'm now going to switch over to showing you guys what this looks like in different lighting levels. And the first one I'm going to show you guys is a normal lit indoor room. And in this setting, the beam is just slightly visible when you're looking down the sight of the laser. If you're looking at it from the side, you can't see the beam at all, but the dot is very bright and very visible. And the dot, the beam divergence on this one is very, very nice. It's a very nice little tight dot, not a lot of light spread. And to use those two modes, the first one is just holding down the button to use the laser and then letting go when the laser turns off. And then the second one is quickly double tapping the button and by doing that the laser will stay on without you even holding or touching the button and then to turn it off you just click it one more time. And moving on to an outdoor setting in midday, this is where the purple 405 nanometer lasers have the toughest time because they are extremely uh, dim and not visible in normal daylight. I'm following the laser here with my zoom feature and I can just barely see the dot. And with my eye right now, I can't, I can't really see the dot even at distances of 15 or 20 feet. So it's not really any visibility during daytime. And at nighttime, this is where you're going to get the best visibility. That dot is extremely bright. And that beam is slightly visible. Um, still not really visible from the side, but you can see it down the sight of the laser. Now, 405 nanometer lasers in general are not very visible as far as the beam goes. And that's because they're very far from the most visible number, which is 555 nanometers, which is a shade of green. So being at the lowest end of the spectrum of visible light, uh, visible laser light, you're not going to get very good visibility out of these lasers. But 
With that being said, the dot is still very visible and you can definitely use this laser. It's just that you won't get a super visible beam. So I'm now going to move on to the LPM test now with my Laser B A LPM. And to speed things up here, the first reading I'm getting is about 90 milliwatts, a little bit over. And on the second reading, I'm also getting about 90 milliwatts. So this laser is nicely over spec at about 15 milliwatts over the uh, rated um, power, which was 75 milliwatts. So I'm, I'm happy with that result, you know? I mean, it is nice when the laser is exactly what they say it is, but I will never really be mad if the laser is over, even if it's just like 15 milliwatts like that. I really am happy about that. That's a good reading. You only really get mad when it's under, unless you have some very specific use for it and you really need it to be 75 milliwatts, but anyways, I'm now gonna kind of transition to the reviewing aspect of this. And in this little clip I'm showing you guys right here, you can see the little holster I have for it. That's about the only accessory I was able to get my hands on for this laser. Um, so for starters, this is not a burning laser. You won't be able to do any burning with it. Uh, it does not have any built-in focus feature. There might be some sort of focusing lens that comes in that nano lens kit. I'm not really sure because I haven't gotten my hands on it, but you won't be able to do any burning with this laser without some sort of focusing lens. And this laser itself, I, I like the quality, I like the full metal construction. I have had issues with the nano buttons before in the past falling off, and I know other people have too, so you do have to kind of baby that button, otherwise it might end up breaking on you. And you can replace it with some like little small piece of plastic or something, but it is annoying when those buttons do break, so be careful with that. That little safety pin too, the little safety key, is extremely hard to remove. I really wish that was maybe just a little bit easier to remove so I could pull that out myself without using a knife. Besides that though, I liked this laser's quality. I thought the price of $69 for this laser was pretty fair, but unfortunately it doesn't ship to the US, so I can't really do much with that and I thought the beam was nice and aligned. I didn't really notice any crookedness with this one. And that power reading I gave you guys was very nice and accurate with a little bit of overspec to it, but overall I liked the power reading and I liked the two mode feature. Everything on this laser was great as far as that goes, and if I had to rate this laser out of 10, I'd say maybe like an eight and a half out of 10 with the one and a half points off coming with the, the low quality on those buttons and the fact that they don't ship to the US. So besides that, that pretty much wraps up this review. If you guys found it helpful in any way, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for lots of awesome laser videos just like this one. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.